from Ozarks First. You're watching Color 10 News at 9 on C. For the first time in 10 years, the Springfield chapter of the NAACP has a new president. Welcome to Color 10 News at 9. I'm Crystal Blair. Tony Robinson was sworn in last night at the historic Washington Avenue Baptist Church, and our Jesse Enman was there for the changing of the guard. Jesse? Yeah, Crystal, Cheryl Clay has been the president of the NAACP for about a decade here in Springfield anyway, but she was born and raised here in town as well. And she says Springfield is in good hands with her 25-year-old successor. I met Tony when she was still a student at Evangel. From their longtime Springfield chapter, NAACP president Cheryl Clay says Tony Robinson did some great work for the community. Robinson took the initiative to watch and learn from the woman at the helm. Tony's been shadowing me for a year, and we go to a lot of meetings together, and she asks questions that I might not have normally asked. She brings a different perspective to the table, and I think that's what we need right now. Robinson says she hopes to continue what Clay started in helping Springfield further embrace diversity. I feel like this is a college town. It's going to attract a lot of people, and I'm hoping that that like, helps retention. Uh, especially for students of color uh, to stay in the area, to diversify the area. I am very grateful to Cheryl and her leadership for the last 10 years. Um, it means an immense amount uh, to be able to follow in her footsteps. Robinson says she'll be ready to get right to work. Visibility is going to be my first thing. Um, so uh, upgrading or transforming our platforms on social media, the website and so forth, so that they're more operable and understandable, navigating. It's easier for everyone. Uh, right now, I feel like that's kind of an obstacle for us as far as getting information out. Now, Robinson will take over officially on January 1st, and Clay will stay on as an assistant secretary for the organization.